Hey, you vinyl community. Hope you are all enjoying your Father's Day weekend. I have done some record shopping over the past week and just haven't had the time to make a video with some of the stuff that I bought. So I thought I'd do a little compilation video today and show my purchases from the past week. This is something that I picked up. It was from Record Store Day weekend. I grabbed it on a Sunday. I'd seen it on Saturday and then I had remorse. I'm like, why didn't you buy this? Because I am a huge Tears for Fears fan. This is the Live at Massey Hall, Toronto, Canada, uh, 1985. And I took the shrink off this because I thought it was a gatefold. And then I take the shrink off and I realize it's not a gatefold. So kind of bummed about that. But anyway, it has two discs. And it's all tracks from their first two albums. It has every song off songs from the big chair represented except for the last one listen. And it's got about six or seven tracks from their first album, um, The Hurting, and sounds pretty good. The older stuff from their first album, you know, it sounds pretty close to the record. The stuff from Songs from the Big Chair, they expand a little bit more on, but it's still a great document to have. I've not heard much in the way of live stuff from Tears for Fears, let alone 80s stuff, except maybe from Live Aid. So it's a nice, nice record to have. Second one that Dad, I'm gonna... I can't find my bike. We'll look for it. I have. Well, why would I know where it is? Because you bought me it. I'm in the middle of making a video. This next one, I've really started yeah. getting into Fleet Foxes. This is a band that uh, I, it'd been on my periphery. I knew about them. Uh, I think this is from 2008, maybe. Um, but always intrigued me. I know um, my friend Chris Profi is big on uh, Fleet Foxes. But I uh, checked them out on Spotify, and I was really happy with what I heard. This is their uh, first album, and it's just called Fleet Foxes. A lot of great songs on here. My favorite is probably, I love... I love White Winter Hymn and uh, Tiger Mountain Peasant Song is really great too. But this whole album, if you like the Beach Boys harmonies, if you like Simon and Garfunkel, if you kind of like hipster, folky, indie kind of rock, this album would be right up your alley. And then later this week, it is my daughter's birthday. And so I went birthday shopping for her and picked some stuff up for myself. Got the second Fleet Foxes album. This one is Helplessness Blues. And really, if you like the first album, you will like this one. Lots of lush, great harmonies. Uh, tend to be more quiet, introspective kind of songs, uh, but definitely got the Simon and Garfunkel vibe. I think more so on this record than the first one for whatever reason. Uh, this one got a nice gatefold uh, also with the lyrics. And got, um, it's two discs, and there are 12 songs on here, but heard the first disc, really fell in love with it, and can't wait to spin the second disc. This is an album that I'd heard back in the day, but never picked it up, either on CD or vinyl, and then when I was shopping, I found it on vinyl, so I wanted to grab it. This is Iron and Wine, our endless number of days, our endless number of days. And again, this is more kind of hipster rock, definitely folky, uh, quiet acoustic type songs, uh, but you know, great Sunday morning listening, I guess you could say. Uh, so I'm glad I picked that up. And then this is a band that I saw live uh, yeah, bike's about gone. what? Your bike's gone. What do you want me to do about it? I'm in the Help. middle of a video. Help me get it. Why would I know where your bike is? Go. You bought me it again. Where did you leave it? In the truck. Yeah, exactly. I'm at go. I'm in the middle of a video. What am I supposed to do about my bike? I can't find it. This is the Lumineer. Saw them live, like I was saying, on this tour. And if you like Mumford and Sons, uh, this is sort of along the same lines. I don't hear anybody really talking about this band, but. They are fantastic. Definitely uh, kind of indie acoustic. I don't hear anybody talking about trying Great. to find my bike. Go! Um, lost my train of thought. 
Uh, but anyway, Lumineers, uh, yeah, they're definitely kind of folky, indie. Again, I you know I hate to label everything kind of hipster rock, but uh, not a whole lot in the way. There's not even an inner sleeve. It's just the regular record here. So, um, got a little promo card. Ooh, you like other things from the artist, but uh, anyway, good record, good melodic. Uh, easy listening again another you know might be another Sunday morning kind of listen definitely mellow but very great songwriting on here uh, and then I did pick up a couple of CDs I have upgraded my copy of Neil Young's Harvest this is the remastered version from 2006 I think it is but it sounds fantastic hey, I compared it go beat it Go. I don't want to hear another word about your bike. Beat it. Bike, 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 bike. Beat it. Um, this is fantastic sounding. I listened to it. I compared it to the original CD that I had, the original CD release, and it's so much better. But love this album. Loved it so much that I have ordered the remastered version of um, After the Gold Rush. Upgraded my CD copy of Boston. This is the remastered version course classic classic album one of the first earliest albums that I ever owned and very happy to get a cleaner sounding copy of that and then lastly uh, Roger Waters in the flesh this is a two CD live version the stuff the thing I love about this is you've got a lot of stuff from animals on here you got pigs on the wing you've got dogs you got a nice representation of Wish You Were Here, some good Pink Floyd tracks. But you've also got some stuff from The Final Cut, which never heard anything performed live before from that album. But on here you've got Get Your Filthy Hands Off My Desert and Southampton Dock, uh, which is very cool. There's some stuff from Dark Side of the Moon on here, some stuff from his solo work. But yeah, very cool to have this and it sounds great. Uh, I think this was from the early 2000s, but great collection to have if you are a Pink Floyd fan. So, that is the stuff that I've been picking up lately. I uh, hope you are enjoying your weekend, and everybody take care.